Why is the wax here? We had a skid bump and bung it. So what have we been told? <laughs> no, no, you're the mic man. You're yeah, yeah, we have an identity yeah. crisis up here. <laughs> Steve, would you have uh, something for us, lad? Oh, he's selling harmonicas. He's selling harmonicas. He's a motor guy. What's that? Sure. Mr. Mallier. Here's a canal shanty that goes back to the 17th century. I know because I wrote it myself. <laughs> but it's true, back in the days before the canal when you had the bateaux, the old heavy boats, that were pulled up the river, which was a lot shallower than I hope it is now or we'll never get where we're going. Little Falls, Wood Creek, Oswego River, paddle and pole till your very bones shiver. In E flat. And it's a weird tune if you didn't know. Goes boat right, building for the riverman's trade. Who takes the boats that your hands have made? Felling axe and pits saw nail forge glow. 
Who takes your boats and where do they go? Go to Little Falls, Wood Creek, and Oswego River. Paddle and pole till your very bones shiver. Burly boatman, stout bateau. How must the westward traveler go? Fur trader, soldier, missionary scout. Indian agent with your papers and gout. Your port wine, tobacco, powder and ball. Bible and the coin purse to pay for it all. Gone to Little Falls, Wood Creek, and Oswego River. Paddle and pole till your very bones shiver. Burly boatman, stout bateau. How must the westward traveler go? And speculator with your eye on your gains. Sturdy surveyor with your maps and chains. Rum for the Indians, ink for the sail. Stirring up fires with a fanciful tail. Gone to Little Falls, Wood Creek, to Oswego River. Paddle and pole in your very bones shiver. Burly boatman, stout cat toe. How must the westward traveler go? Highland exile in your tattered kilt. Palatine farmer born to Lutheran guilt. All driven from your homeland far across the sea. Bitter will your taste of the wilderness be. Gone to Little Falls, Wood Creek, Oswego River. Paddle and pole till your very bones shiver. Burly boatman, stout bateau. How must the westward traveler go? Bindi kill merchant in your warehouse strong. Listen to the rasp of the boatman's song. Warm in your counting house, dry in the rain. Dreaming of the river and the journey again. Fort Herkimer, Fort Stanwick's Fort Ontario. West to Niagara, the travelers go. Westward into Michigan, in peace and in war. The boatmen of Schenectady are sending out more. Gone to Little Falls, Wood Creek, Oswego River. Paddle and pole till your very bones shiver. Burly boatman, stout bateau. How must the westward traveler go?
was uh, that was Molly. Let's, how about how about D minor? Does that work? E minor. D D minor. D minor. Double. It puts the guitar kind of up there, but I think. Let me just see. for me. I don't know if it works for anybody else. We got it. Well, the evening is hardly over. It has barely begun because I can see some people back there that are going to have a wonderful time playing some tunes with us and us with them. But we are going west on the Erie Canal. This is the beginning of the whole thing. Jay the Bones Man has disappeared. Where'd he go? Can't very easily introduce him, but that's Ox Gara behind the ball run. Megan that was behind the ball run when Ox wasn't. Steve Royce with the harmonica, the button box, and the other button box. Claudine Langeo. Incomparable. Don Sinetti, the other incomparable. I got an old mule and her name is Sal. Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. She's a good old worker, she's a good old man. Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. We hauled some barges in our day, filled with lumber, coal, and hay. And we know every inch of the way from all the Your life but never part with sound Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal She knows every inch of this old town Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal Yeah, an uproll mule, here comes a lot We'll make Troy about six o'clock One more trip and then back we'll go Right back home to Buffalo Low bridge, everybody down. Low bridge, cause we're coming to a town. You'll always know your neighbor, you'll always know your pal if you ever navigate it on the Erie Canal. Now I don't have to call when I want my sound. Fifteen miles from the Erie Canal. She trots from her stall like a good old gal. Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. I eat my meals with Sal each day. I eat beans and she eats hay. She ain't so slow if you want to know. For she put the buff in Buffalo. Low bridge, everybody down. Low bridge, cause we're coming to a town. You'll always know your neighbor. Special thanks to Ray and Mary Ann. Nice place, Mary Ray. Ann is as well. And, uh, and I hope the kitchen isn't closed. <laughs> All right.
Was you ever in Quebec? Body laddie, heel and laddie, launching timbers on the deck. Body heel and laddie. And was you ever down the Mobile Bay? Body laddie, heel and laddie, screwing cotton all the day. Body heel and laddie. Way ho and away we go. Body laddie, heel and laddie, way ho and away we'll go, your body heel and laddie. Was I ever in Dundee? Body laddie, heel and laddie, there's a pretty ship you'll see, body heel and laddie. And was I ever in ever? Lottie, Lottie, Heel and Lottie, there's the prettiest girls I've seen. Lottie, Heel and Lottie, way ho and away we'll go. Your yeah, body, Lottie, Heel and Lottie, way ho and away we'll go. Your yeah, body, Heel and Lottie. Was I ever in a Halifax town? Body, Lottie, Hill and Lottie, a staggering up and a staggering down. Body, Hill and Lottie, and was I ever in a Cali low? Body, Lottie, Hill and Lottie, there the Yankee ships all go. Body, Hill and Lottie, hey ho and away we go. The body, Lottie, Hill and Lottie. Way ho and away we'll go, your body heel and laddie. Was you ever in a Monterey? Body laddie, heel and laddie. On that town where the fire months pay, body heel and laddie. And was you ever around Cape Horn? Body laddie, heel and laddie. With the lion and the unicorn, body, heel and body. Way ho and away we'll go, your body, laddie, heel and laddie. Way ho and away we'll go, your body, heel and laddie. Way ho and away we'll go, your body, laddie, heel and laddie. Way ho and away we'll go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sherry Mortimer. And uh, I'm not a boy, but I'm proud to be one of the boys of Wexford. <laughs> there you go. You're not? Not a boy. <laughs> no, amazing, isn't it? Uh, but your father always called you a tomboy anyway. Yeah, something like that. And they, uh, no, my father called me, what on earth? Did, where did you come from? What were you anyway, thinking? What was... <laughs> yes, oh well. Um, I sing a kind of a different kind of song, and there were different reasons that people left Ireland to come and work on the Erie Canal. And we've already mentioned the, the lost and failed risings. Uh, there's a song from one of those risings, and it's an Ashling song, A-I-S-L-I-N-G. An Ashling song is where Ireland comes as a woman to greet someone and, and uh, thank them or tell them some sort of message. So the first verse of this is in Irish, and uh, so you won't know what on earth I'm saying. But uh, then I'll do the English translation. But it comes with a story, there was a young man and he was walking the fields of the farm that once belonged to him. And he was staying in the darkness close to the hedgerows because he'd been part of a rising and the rising had failed. And so he was walking these fields 
that once belonged to him, knowing that he had to leave the next day and become an exile from Ireland. And so he sank down in the darkness and fell asleep, and then there across the field she came striding. Ireland as a woman, to thank him and be with him on his last night with her. And he told it in this song. Er Aaron he knows and he, but for Ireland, I'd not tell her name. I ain't gonna 
Um, we're going to play a tune for you called Farewell to Aaron. And uh, we're, we're also hoping, I know there's some people here that play tunes in the audience, and we're hoping you'll stick around, play some tunes with us after. We have a good old session here, so please stay around.
Okay, uh, this is one uh, that I know a lot of you know, so please join in. I'll leave you a little bit more. Is it in a book? Is it? <laughs> Tell us, is it in a book? <laughs> Just follow it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fare thee well to you, we own true love. I am going far away. I am bound for Now the 
That's what this one's about. <laughs> but there's kind of a lowland right here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and we were we were thinking about our uh, New Orleans friends as we watched the floodgates open on the Erie Canal <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> so, luckily, we made it through safely, thanks to our wonderful captain. Yes. Captains. <laughs> Everybody arrived safe and sound. It was on a bright March morning I bid New Orleans adieu I set off for Jackson Town My fortunes to renew I cursed a foreign money No credit
said that could never be. For she had got a lover, and he was far at sea. She said that she would wait for him, and true she would remain till he returned to his Creole.
Uh, this next song we're going to do for you uh, relates uh, about the hardships that the uh, sailors had on board the packet ships. These were the sailing ships that uh, sailed largely out of Liverpool to places like uh, New York uh, City and Baltimore and New Orleans. And uh, the crews uh, were largely Irish, but uh, sailing can be tough at times. <laughs> 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 okay, right. Here we go. And feel free to clap along, you know. The damp up here is playing havoc with a string instrument. <laughs> There's some 22 different tunings for the five string banjo. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. <it's laughs> he's, okay. ju he's just tried 21 of them. <laughs> Okay. That Betty said no Here we go. Hey, a bold, hey, boy, sail from there. Bold, and sail me on. If you sail and on the packet ship, no doubt a packet's worth. But it's worth a monkey jacket, and keep your hands covered well. And there goes a Thank you. 
now and you get your toes tapping out there keep yourself warm <laughs> a tune called the maid behind the bar and that's where we all should be right now I'm talking to the maid behind the bar it's too cold up here anyhow and the second tune is a great tune as well from Ireland a tune called the silver spear so here we go
There we are. Okay, we have a, we have a lady sitting beside us here. Yeah. Her name is Claudine, Claudine Langell. Claudine Langell is a great friend of ours. And Claudine Langell has been traveling around the world for the last 20 years. <laughs> Ireland, Scotland, Wales, America, Canada, everywhere, playing with a variety of different acts. And she's here with us on this trip and we're having a great time together. We're going to hand you over to Claudine here to do or sing, you like to sing. Well, you want to do Jack Haggerty? You know, there's a little chick in the middle there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. This is a song from, I believe, Michigan. It's a version of a ballad about a raftsman whose name is Jack Haggerty, and he falls in love with the boss's daughter, and they kind of kick him out after that. So. But um, it's appeared in all different places in the, about the Pecos River. This is the Flat River in Michigan that it's about. But maybe somebody out there who's a singer or ballad collector knows a version from around here. Jack Haggerty. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. I'm proud to be a boy of Wexford. <laughs>
very much indeed. We are a whole bunch of tunes that came from Donegal. Um, this um, tour that we're doing here, as Mike McGarry introduced uh, introduction said, um, is to celebrate the birth and the making of the Great Erie Canal, and in particular the, the workers, the people who dug it and worked on it, and perhaps even died on it, I imagine, you know, in those days. So anyhow, we have a gentleman here called George Ward, who's from the general area here, George. And George, uh, George uh, knows a great deal about the Erie Canal, all its songs and its folklore. So I'm going to hand you over to George for the first song. Yeah, well, I could be, I could be rude and crude and sing you the oldest song on the canal that anybody knows of, and I'll only sing you one verse. But uh, imagine a bunch of guys. They used to say, Frank Warner used to say, I don't know whether it was true or not, he said, you know, when the Irish came to the great Montezuma Swamp, they stripped to the waist, from the waist down jumped into the swamp and started digging, leaving their shirts on to protect them from the mosquitoes. We are digging a ditch through the mire, through the mire right up to our necks. Damn it, we're digging a ditch through the mire, and the mud is our principal hire. In our pants and our boots down our necks, by God, in our pants and our boots down our necks. And it goes on in that vein for verses and verses. Mud, rocks, mire, mosquitoes, everything else. But, uh, you know, all those songs, like the diggers themselves, came from the old country. And uh, what was going through my head driving out here this morning was the Cruise of the Calabar, which is an Irish ballad. Come, all you dry land sailors, and listen to me song. Tis only forty verses, and I'll not detain you long. Concerning the adventures of this poor Lisbon tar, when he sailed as the man before the mast on the good ship Calabar. For the Calabar with a clipper flat stern fashion fore and aft. Her rudder stuck way out behind and the wheel was a great big shaft. With half a gale to fill her sail she can make two knots an hour. Smartest ship on the Grand Canal and only one horsepower. The captain, he was a strapping lad, he stood about five foot two. His hair was black and his nose was red and his eyes was a Prussian blue. He wore a leather medal as he'd won in the crime he wore. And his wife, she was passenger mate and the cook on the good ship Calabar. We sailed away on a favorable breeze, oh, the weather it was fine. Till we reached the Straits of Rialto Bridge where you can't pass two at a time. Another craft run into us, so it gave us a serious check. It destroyed the starboard paddle wheel box, likewise the hurricane deck. While hugging the shore of Inchicor, a very dangerous part, we ran aground on a lump of coal that wasn't marked on the chart. To save ourselves from sinking and to save each precious life, we hove the main deck over the side, and likewise the captain's wife. Then all became confusion as the stormy winds did blow. The bosun slipped on an orange peel and fell into the hole below. The captain cried, there's a pirate ship and upon a sheet is gain. And when next I go to Clondalkin, boys, I'll take the bloody train. <laughs> we got our ammunition out to meet the coming foe. Twas cutlasses and gatling guns and cutlasses also. Crack on more speed, the captain cried, for we are sorely pressed. The engineer on the bank cried out, sure the horse is doing his best. <laughs> well, thick and fast, the heroes fell in torrents, the blood was spilt. Great numbers fallen before they was struck to be sure that they wouldn't be killed. When at last the foe surrendered her flag, her crew being all on their backs, 
We found she was a sister ship with a cargo of cobbler's wax. The ship, she's in the marine stores now and the crew's in the county jail. And I'm the only son of a gun that's left to tell the tale. But if I could release that ship, I'd sail for lands afar. And I'd admiral be of the bloody fleet on the fight in Calabar. <laughs> Good night, Just so you know, we're not taking ourselves too serious. <laughs> This is something I wouldn't normally do, but uh, sit there. <laughs> but you've been singing, and there's a song that the band I play in does a lot. It's written by a modern day fellow. Young man who leaves Ireland and always dreams of coming back. And he dreams it through New York Dreams it through Boston, or Chicago, or San Francisco. Dreams it until he's 90 years old and more. And leaves this world still dreaming. But because it's Tommy Sands that wrote it, it's got a rousing chorus. And I just thought on the heels of what PV just did, maybe if you could sing a chorus with us, it'd be kind of fun. And then we'll bid farewell to the Erie Canal. But the chorus says... They'll be dancing, romancing, and never more will roam. They'll be rolling in the hay, they'll be whiskey in the tay when the boys come rolling home. They'll be dancing, romancing, and never more will roam. They'll be rolling in the hay, they'll be whiskey in the tay when the boys come yeah, you've got to reach for the high notes and just go up there. You miss them, we'll never know. And if we miss them, you'll know. I always will remember the day I went away. Sailing out of Belfast in the morning. My thoughts were on tomorrow as I kissed the girls goodbye. My hopes were on the day of my Spite of wind and rain and stormy weather We all sat down and drank a glass and wished each other well We said we'd all go home again together We'll be dancing, romancing And never more will roll We'll be rolling in the hay We'll be whiskey in the tank
you very much indeed. Well, wow, thank um, you. It's cheerio from all of us. We're moving on to the next port of call, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> so to speak. And uh, we hope you enjoyed our little show here today. And um, as I always say, yeah. my final words are live each day as if it's your last, because one day you'll be right. <laughs>